So here I'm going to go over some tire track evidence and kind of what's included in collection of this particular form of evidence. So first off, we want to be looking at when we're documenting uh, tire tracks, we want to be looking also at the width of that tire track. We also want to be considering the wheelbase dimensions and that gets into the specifics of the vehicle. If there was a turn involved, could we get the turning diameter and also the relative position of the turning tracks because this will all kind of play into uh, determining potentially what size or what proportion vehicle made those tracks. So this vehicle tire width, so the width is the stance uh, that we're looking at, the track width. It's a measurement made from the one center of one wheel to the opposite center of the other wheel. And again, this is considered the track width. The front wheels turning produce unreliable measurements, so rear wheels ac um, accurately record turns because they're going to remain always consistent. Um, so it's again, looking at that track width for the rear tires would be the measurement we want to try to determine or take. We have something called a wheelbase. So the wheelbase is the measurement of the center of hubs from the front wheels to the center of hubs from the rear wheels. Normally these measurements are not uh, present at a crime scene, uh, but they can kind of help indicate if we have a suspect's vehicle, it's important to take that into consideration. Now if it's just a regular car, they may not vary that much, but for example here in the extreme case, we have a limo, uh, we ha we'll, have we'll have a much longer wheelbase. Uh, we could have something really short like this little go-kart, it's going to have a very short wheelbase. And that's again, center of front tire to center of the rear tire. You have something called turning diameter. So when we're looking at turning diameter, it's a diameter of circle of a vehicle makes when its steering wheels are fully turned, pertains to front wheels only. Turning diameter is measured by B squared over A plus A, where B is the distance between two points uh, on the turning circle, and A is the distance between outer margin and midpoint between X and X naught there. Um, so this is just a way to try to determine that turning diameter, which can be involved if there are skid marks uh, or indication if a uh, car was able to leave very quickly or skid in an area and these tire tracks were made, this turning diameter could play into determining whether or not the suspect's car could have made um, those prints. We have the position of tire in a turn. So again, if we can find turns, those are great indicators. Because when a vehicle moves in a straight path, only the rear tire tracks are available to us as researchers and investigators. However, when a vehicle turns, the rear and front tire tracks um, rack separately. So you can get an indication of both. It's important to understand and document these at a crime scene. Now we see the obvious here of made in sand or made in snow, uh, but if they're looking at over um, a mud or a gravel area potentially, or a soft um, substance in any way, um, looking at those tire positions in relate to a turn can be a very important piece of information. Now, lastly, if we're gonna, how we're going to recover this particular evidence, uh, as I said, typically made in a soft substance, uh, which makes it really easier, uh, really easy to see, but can be a little fragile to be able to collect that evidence. So first off, we want to take uh, photographs from all angles with and without measurement tools and ruler. If possible, want to take a cast over about three foot impression, and that requires about 15 to 25 pounds of dental stone if you're really looking at capturing some of the details um, of that. We do want to measure the width, length, and depth, and the direction of travel noted. Impressions could be made if possible, but pictures of the source tire uh, must be included for comparison. So yes, it's important to document those impressions, but we also need to try to match it up to the source tire to be able to determine whether or not it was possible for the suspect's um, tires to have made the impressions found at the crime scene.